Hi guys, it's Heather. And TJ. With Murray's Home for Wayward Chickens. Um, tonight's going to be an interesting video. It may not get posted, we're not sure. So, I'm going to forego most of my sarcastic jokes that I have on other days. Because we got a chicken that was pretty sick and didn't make it. Um, a lot of times, it's, it's common practice. Not for us. It's common practice that if you have a sick chicken... In order to prevent having it happen again or to protect the rest of your flock and knowing what caused the death of a chicken, it's customary to do a necropsy. Now, we've only done that once before. We sent a chicken who didn't make it after we lost two or three chickens to the same symptoms. We sent the chicken to Cornell University for a necropsy, which is an autopsy on a chicken. It's called necropsy. And they sample the tissues and they try to locate the cause of death. I think we spent about $150 on that necropsy report, and after all it was said and done, it came back inconclusive. Um, this chicken never even made it to the vet. Uh, the vet is aware that we're going to attempt our own necropsy. Um, I have the instructions from the Department of Agriculture. We're not going, we're going to forego the majority of the necropsy we're not interested in everything we just want to know spe one specific area that was a cause for concern so there's there won't be jokes today this may get very graphic so here's a warning and a disclaimer that if you can't watch this please don't um i don't know how i'm gonna do this but i need to know it's important for me to know and so it's not going to be uh, a more scientific, technically done necropsy because for us it's personal. It, it's hard not to keep your emotions out of it. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of my favorite frankincense and myrrh and just put it on the outside of my. Here. No, put it on the outside because otherwise it's overwhelming. So um, this is a surgical mask that I got from someone. We got gloves. We have scalpel. We have prepped the area. Um, we're covered in plastic. She's on a blanket. She's on a towel. And we're going to, we have a, a cover over her head. She was, you know, she's one of our chickens. So if you have questions or comments at the end, because you do watch it, um, feel free to leave them. Sarcastic and obnoxious comments will not be tolerated. Uh, Cornell is, we're going to take samples and ship them to Cornell uh, to get results from potentially whatever it is that we find. And so uh, we're gonna we're gonna perform an necropsy. Do you wanna you may want to lift it back up to the top so it's not too bad on it. Like that? Let me pause this. Are you gonna turn around? Or? I'll turn um, I'm not I'm gonna turn her this way. But if you keep an eye on, oh, okay, um, where's my, where'd the scalpel go? No, okay, excuse me one second. Okay, so I have the scalpel. If the vet is interested in either the video or the photos, so she can help us determine, potentially, just by visuals, what happened. And then the tissue samples will be sent to Cornell for observation and study, and they'll give us the results. Okay, just come look at me. All right, just loosen it. I wanted to clean my scalpel. I know the chicken is not with us, but I don't want to contaminate samples either. Okay. Can you tell me on the video if you can see her? Um, yeah, a little bit. I mean. It's too narrow. 
Is that that's a tumor? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh. I think so. Okay. She had a tumor, massive tumor, several. Oh my goodness. Poor baby. I haven't even gotten to organs yet. And she has more. This is the uh, all right. So I'm going to pull some of her organs. I I don't know which is I can't name them all right now. I have never seen the inside before. This isn't supposed to be here, though. Oh boy. All of that is tumor. This is all tumor. Oh my gosh, so many. Oh my gosh. Oh, this poor baby. Oh, this is. That whole thing. This whole thing? Yeah. All this too. Mm -hmm. Oh, she is that an egg? Yep. She was forming an egg. Oh, this is all tumor. This whole entire cavity. Oh. Oh my gosh. This is what I was feeling in her. Mm -hmm. Feel that? Yeah, that when I was in her, I felt that. Okay. All right, so I'm going to bag this up. I'm not going to get into a completely educational thing because I don't know enough to tell you more. But I can tell you that this is... Oh, my poor baby. Okay. If your chicken is, is sick, please take it to a vet. It's not, it's not expensive to take one chicken to the vet. Um, let me turn it up. I'll turn it up to me. Turn it. Hmm. Our vet charges, um, it, it adds up when you have to do testing. But to just have the chicken looked at by a vet, an avian vet, is usually around, what, $15, $20? Mm -hmm. Even an emergency visit is sometimes 30 It's not the same as when you have a dog or a cat. The reason why it adds up for us is because we have to regularly take chickens to the vet and have them come to the house and we do regular testing because we get so many sick chickens and so um 20 bucks for your chicken okay. if it's sick take it to a vet thanks guys hi this is tj with murray's home for wayward chickens I'm here with Heather. We have some results from the necropsy that we performed on uh, one of the chickens earlier. Um, 
Heather is going to fill you in on all the details. Hi guys. So we weren't looking at tumors. We were mistaken. Those were egg yolks. So what we had was a chicken, a laying hen that had a double, uh, she had double issues. So she was an internal egg layer, which means that she wasn't passing her eggs. And you can determine that there's a potential that your hen has it if they're over age two and they start laying soft shelled eggs regularly, or if they have a, a decreased egg production and they're not laying at all. It's normal to have some soft shelled eggs once in a while when a new chicken starts laying, but once they're regular egg layers or they're over the age of two, you shouldn't, you shouldn't really see that. What causes a hen to become an internal egg layer is an infection called salpingitis. So salpingitis will have the chicken make what's called lash eggs. And those are the eggs, those are those big potato looking lumps that were about this big that you may have seen in the video. And the salpingitis is an inflammation of the oviduct caused by an infection, whether bacterial or viral. And then the chicken tries to wall off the infection by making this um, yellow cheesy like pus. And it might contain yolks, albumin, which is egg white, blood, pieces of the oviduct wall, all that stuff. But what happens is when it builds up and the infection continues to get worse and the, and the chicken is internally laying eggs, the abdomen swells. And then they have trouble breathing because it's pressing on all their organs and the respiratory system. There's not a lot of promise for salpingitis or internal egg laying. It's hard to detect because a lot of times hens will not show any signs that anything is wrong unless you're really paying attention. And even then you may not notice. This was not a case of neglect. And that needs to be said because this was a really sick chicken that didn't really show signs of being sick until pretty soon, right? I would say what recently, like I'm losing the, the word I'm looking for right before we got her. She was a well, much loved, spoiled, well cared for chicken. And so I wouldn't want to even allude to the fact that she wasn't cared for because she was. There was nothing that could have been done for this particular, this particular hen, even if she was at a vet's office. Um, sometimes salpingitis will, will, will require surgery, but they'd have to actually open the chicken up and remove all the egg yolks. Or they insert a hormone, either by injection or under the skin, which stops the chicken from laying eggs temporarily while they heal. A lot of these are pretty extensive treatments. And surgery on a chicken is so rare and it's, it's extremely difficult because most of the time they have such a high risk of getting bacteria that they want to die from the surgery. So it's not going to be a common practice to have your chicken go into surgery. There's not a lot of hope for a chicken with salpingitis or internal egg laying. And so by the way, I should not have mentioned that it's $20 to take your chicken to a vet because prices vary all over the place. And I had parakeets years ago and one of them had to go to the vet and I had to find an avian vet and it was like $100, $150 for an office visit. So it can, it can be ridiculously expensive. We just happen to have a farm vet. We're in a, a rural area and it just costs a little less. So I want to apologize for just jumping the gun and saying that this is what it costs to take a chicken to a vet. Other than that, the people that had this bird cared for her very well. There was nothing they could have done. I feel terrible that we didn't have more time to do something for her. But under the circumstances, with the fact that she had salpingitis and she was an internal egg layer, there was, there was nothing that could be done. And I just hope she's in a better place now. I thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. Have a good night.